Hi, and welcome to Neo Does Makeup. I'm Neo, and today, this is not a makeup look, this is just a full face of my favorites slash go-tos, because there are some things in here that I'm like, I don't like talking about you, but I use you a lot. So I'm just like, okay, it's gonna go in here. <laughs> And honestly, I love how this look came out. I played with some shadows in this palette that I love that I never really use that often. And I love it. Like, I'm shook and I love it and I'm obsessed. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking so you can get into this video. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so let's get started. And we're going full face, so I had to start with brows because that's always what I start with. Um, and yeah. By the way, first time I'm trying uh, Morphe brushes today, so uh, got this in a little set. She also got me a free palette, kinda. It was a dollar. But by the way, I did get a haircut. You can see it. Well, you're probably you already saw it in the intro, so yeah. Sorry, this is just what I filmed first. So, here's the thing. I don't like talking about this brand anymore, but this is honestly like my go-to brow product and I'm just trying to use it up. It's waterproof, so it lasts forever. It's a good color for my brows no matter what hair color I have. And that is the Kevon D Super Brow Pomade. And so I'm gonna use this real quickly to fill in my brows. Most of the time when you see me on camera, that's what I'm using, because honestly, it is my go-to. Um, I did just get something new from Wet n Wild that I wanted to try. It's a brow mascara. So I'm gonna try that out later this week, but since I have not tested it yet, I can't put it in a full face of what is my go-to slash favorites, so. So that's a big brow today. That was unintentional. It happened. Um, I'm gonna go take care of this brow off camera. And also, real quickly, I do want to say this is still the exact same one I did a full review on over a year ago. It is still just as creamy, and you can see I, I'm like not even halfway through this. So this lasts, but. Again, I don't like talking about this brand anymore. But again, off camera real quick. Okay, so big brows it is today. Okay. Honestly, this one was looking a lot better. It was a lot skinnier, but then I was like, okay, I have to kind of match it to this, so. Big brows. Anyway, I'm just looking at I'm like, those are so big. Anyway, we're gonna use my favorite eyeshadow primer, which is the NYX HD eyeshadow base. Put it on, then I'm gonna set it using something from the palette that I'm gonna use tonight. Now we're gonna take something from my favorite eyeshadow palette. This is the Alien palette. Honestly, this is my favorite eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take Titan to set that primer. So the reason I pack so much on is that if I use one of the pressed pigments or any pressed pigment, it actually will help not stain the skin. That's why I tend to put a little bit more primer and a little more of a base shadow on. Now I don't know what look I'm gonna do. Scratch that. I'm gonna play with the colors I don't usually play with in this one. So the first shade I'm gonna dip into is actually going to be, hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go with more of the cool tones. So I know I'm gonna use like Ghost OG, Tall Gray, Black Hole, and then either Probe or Space Cowboy. But I don't know what other shades, what other shades I'm gonna use. Okay, so. And probably Interstellar because I've never really used that. Oh, okay. So I know I'm gonna be playing like with the grays, but I don't know what transition shade I wanna use. I think, oh my gosh. I just realized I haven't even tapped into tall gray. Wow, okay. So, I think I'm gonna take gravity and just real quickly put that high into the crease.
Okay, so now I'm just gonna go right into Tall Gray. I just want to play with it. I've never used this shadow before, so I'm like interested in it. Honestly, I could have just probably gone right into Tall Gray, but decided not to. But here we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna dip into Ghost OG, which is a very nice deep green, but it looks almost gray, so it's gonna help just like transition everything along. Okay, now I'm going to take, oh my gosh, my hair is just driving crazy today. Now I'm going to take Black Hole and place that on the outer third of my. Hold on, I need to grab something. And I'm also gonna grab something to put my hair, to help with my hair, so we are, be right back. Okay, we're right back. Here we go. So I'm really liking this. It's a really nice, like, smoky eye, which I love. But what I'm gonna do now is take one of my favorite thing to use for a cut crease. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Camelback. I'm gonna use that to reshape this area right here, and then I'm gonna pack on. I don't know what shade I'm gonna pack on. I think I might do it with Space Cowboy, just because I haven't really used that before. So I'm gonna use Space Cowboy. Yeah, let's go with that. And normally I would cut this out, but we're gonna just go with it. Okay, I'm really liking this. And honestly, okay, um, it's not exact, but I'm getting some resemblance to my Rumpelstiltskin look. But I'm gonna go do this part again off camera, just to save time in the video, honestly. And I'm gonna be right back so we can take care of the face. I'm not gonna do liner because, I mean, it's so black, I don't need liner. So, yeah, BRB. Okay, and we're back, and now I need to get my primer, which is, funny enough, this is my favorite primer, it's the NYX, bear with me, it's the Hydrating Jelly Primer, I love hydrating primers because it helps with my oily skin, and honestly, this helps everything just stay sunken in, because it just is so quickly absorbed and I'm going to use a brush to dip into it because it's literally clear you can't even see it because it's like oh, no, no, let's see you see it now there you go there it is it's a jelly so I just like dipping in with a brush I always use a stippling brush because it helps glide So I'm going to real quickly let that just sink in. Okay, now that it's in, I'm going to take my favorite foundation, which honestly, it's weird to say this is my favorite, but honestly, kind of think it is. It's the uh, <laughs> Maybelline Superstay. And I use shade 220, because that is my like almost perfect match. And you can tell she's used. I'm just gonna blend that in with a nice sponge. And this is not, I got this sponge at TJ Maxx when I was in Texas because I forgot to bring my sponges. And honestly, she's great, so.
Okay, so now we're going to go on to concealer, my favorite concealer. Can't stop, won't stop. I do have the new Superstay Concealer. I have not tried it yet, so since I have not tried it, I'm not going to put it in the video. By the way, this is the shade uh, 07 Natural. I do have also Medium Olive, but I saved that for whenever I'm using my deeper foundations. I say deeper, but really they're just like a step up and they're a little closer to my skin. Now for powder, I'm going to go under the eyes first, and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, now I'm going to use a larger powder brush to get all the rest of the face. And I like to press it and then blend, which is kind of what I was doing up here. Okay, so then let's go to the rest of the face. I'm going to take a bronzer, and honestly, it's my favorite bronzer. It really is. It's the Tarte. Uh, this is the Amazonian Clay Bronzer. It's matte, it's waterproof, and this is in Park Avenue Princess. I've hit pan. <sighs> I love it. It's my favorite bronzer. Like, she's so pretty. Okay, had a phone call, deal with it. Now we're going on to blush, I'm using, I, I started to hit pan and I'm like crying. It's my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Party. I know I said I hit pan, but I've been using this like solidly for like two years. Now something I had to add in that's kind of become a favorite lately and I've been loving using this. I've been using it a lot. I haven't just really talked about it because I don't really talk about doing skin. But this is part of Mac's Electric Wonder Collection. It's called Into Eternity. It's a iridescent powder, and I love it. And it has like this mauvey, bronzy, everything in it. So I just like swirling my brush in it and going like in between everything. Just gives you like this nice, like subtle, but really like beautiful glow. It's like just bronzy, just perfect. And it has a nice chocolatey kind of scent to it. I'm a fan. Now on to highlight, my favorite highlighter ever. Money Honey Jeffree Star. If you know... <laughs> okay, so this is funny. Uh, for the longest time, Nady from Poplux was asking people like, what color highlighters do you guys want to see? And every time I would say, this is gonna sound weird, but like a green with a gold shift. And then Jeffrey came out with it. So honestly, I use this all the time. If I'm going out by myself, I will wear this. When I went to, uh, I went out in Texas and I went to Six Flags, I was wearing this. It is just, and I got everyone else to wear it too, cause it looks good on, Everyone, I just love it so much. I just, I cannot stop singing its praises and I barely even touched it. I, I say that I've been using it for over a year, for almost a year, sorry. And like barely has been touched. I love it, ah, oh, I love it, okay. Now we're gonna go back to eyes, ow. And real quickly, I'm going to by the way, I forgot to mention it. I was thinking earlier before I added the black, I was gonna do liner, and I was gonna use my Fenty Fly Liner. It's my favorite eyeliner, it honestly just is. Now we're gonna go back to the eyes. Let me curl my lashes real quick, and then we're gonna put on mascara, which is 
the Milk Kush Mascara. I love this. So I'm gonna do that real quickly. I don't like doing that on camera per se, so I'm going to cut that out, and then I'm gonna come back with all my lashes on, including my falsies. And I'm most likely going, oh, I know I definitely have Genuine Ken lashes out. I don't know which style I'm gonna use, and I'll let you know whenever I get back, because I really like all of them. So it's just a matter of like, oh, which one do I want to use today to complement this? So honestly, Genuine Ken lashes, they're my favorite. Um, I do have a new pair I want to try, but I'm not going to use them today, because again, this is not a, oh, this is what I think might be favorite. No, these are my favorites. So be right back. We're back. It took a little while because a I'm listening to beauty news and today it's been so long since I've done makeup. Like honestly, it's been a few weeks that I was having issues with the lashes, but they're on. They look good. This is the style nightshade, and I love it. And we're gonna go to the under eyes now. So I'm thinking. Hold on. Let me zoom. Let me bring this out a little bit. Okay. I think I'm actually just going to stay with what I was doing and just go back into like black hole, ghost OG, tall gray and help blend that out underneath with a little bit of gravity. Because otherwise normally I'd be like, okay, now we're going to go into the greens, but I'm like, I actually really like this like smoky look I'm doing. So I want to continue with it. Okay, so I don't know what to put in the water in the waterline. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Um, honestly, every time I say I'm going to put a black liner in the waterline, it's always the basket case. Again, don't like talking about the brand, so that's why I just say a black liner. Anyway, I'm going to put that in the waterline. So I really don't know what to put in the inner corner. You know what? I do want to use something green, so I'm going to go with Alien and just have fun with it. Because I see so many people that do like nude looks and then they go with like a pop of color on the inner corner. I'm like, this is a very smoky look and let's go with that pop. That just bumped this look up. Anyway, now we're gonna go back. Now we're gonna move on to the lips, and I had to use my favorite liquid lipstick, which is Ashton. Anastasia Ashton. Anastasia Ashton has been like a staple that I've turned so many people onto that I literally cannot even joke about it. Like this is the number one lipstick for me. So that's my favorite lipstick, but I need to put something on top of it because I really want to combine. I want everything to melt, so I'm gonna be using one of my favorite lip glosses. Honestly, it's become my favorite, even though I haven't used it on this channel yet. This is Jeffree Star's The Gloss in Safe Word, which, I mean, it's Money Honey has a hot lip gloss. It literally is. It's the same exact colors, where it's the gold, the green, and the slight pink. So. We're gonna slap her on on top of Ashton. Now, if you had asked me a few months ago before this came out, what was my favorite gloss? My answer would have been Fenty's Snake Skin, but this is like Saint Skin, but even better. Like, I still love Snake Skin, but this is, like, number one gloss, honestly. Now I'm going to set my face using a setting spray. Um, 
honestly, I don't have like a favorite setting spray, but I do have, well, no, okay, I did have one, but the pump broke and that was from Collab, so I can't use it. So right now I'm trying to go through the rest of the Kat Von D one. That one's okay. Um, Honestly, yeah, this is going to make everything last for a long time is good. Again, just only talking about the brand. Um, and I think I'm going to use that so that way I can like try to get closer to finishing this up so I can go back to my collab. So I'm going to set my face, let down my hair, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, so here we are with the final look, and I I should really love this. Oh my gosh, I'm like... I'm loving how this is looking. Also... The hair. <laughs> I pulled the Carol Danvers and I went back to short. Um, but honestly, it's just like I love it. I'm I'm really loving this. Like even if I toss it to the other side, it's still just like here's a little bit shorter, a little cute bob. But if I bring it to this side, it's like boom, bam, bitch, I'm here. And I I honestly really do love this look. Like, I would so do this again. And honestly, I think about going out and wearing this and be like, boom, bitches, I'm here. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm... Like, there's a reason all this is my favorite again. Some of the stuff I'm just trying to go through, so it's just been my go-to, so I'm counting it as a favorite. Okay, another thing I've been loving, too, is just these... This is the Slay All Day Setting Spray, and this is the watermelon one. I had to be careful whenever I use it, because my mom hates the smell of watermelon. Like, it gives her a headache, so I had to be very careful whenever I use these. But this one is good. It's good. And, anyways, I'm getting off topic, but oh my gosh. Like, y'all see this, right? I feel so like that bitch. I feel like that Lizzo song. I feel like... I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm a hundred percent that bitch. Like, that's me right now. I love it. Anyway, I need to stop. I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. I'm back. I'm gonna be back. I have my computer back so I can actually edit. And yeah, this is gonna be fun. Anyway, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you like me and you wanna see more, please do subscribe. There it is. Subscribe and click that little bell button because every time I release a new video, you'll get a notification. Aside from that, I hope you have a good rest of your day or night, wherever you are, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.